Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about constructor in Java. So what is constructor and how can we write the constructor in Java? See some of the rules about the constructor. Constructor, constructor is a special method. Nothing but a kind of method must be defined with the same name of class. Constructor name and class name. Class name should be same. And next one, written type is not allowed. Written type is not allowed. So what is the use of constructor? I'll explain. But before that, how can we define the constructor? Suppose if you are writing any class, if you are writing employee class, then you need to write the method. So what is the method actually? A set of instructions with an identity. Of course, the method means you can write the return type, any return type, and you can write identity. For example, I'm writing that, finding the total salary of an employee. This is actually called a method. But constructor means, right, identity must be class name. And please don't write any return type. This is what constructor. If you define any method with the same name of class is called constructor. And don't write any return type. So what is the use of constructor actually? See, whenever you are writing the class, Inside the class, we are defining instance variables. Suppose employee ID, employee name, and employee salary. Suppose these are instance variables. And these variables get memory whenever you create the object. When you create the object, we will discuss in the next video how to create the object for class and all. But whenever you create object, constructor will give the values default values it will give this is called a default constructor this is default constructor constructor gives a default values gives default values and we write parameterized constructor also like id name and salary and these are instead of giving the default values give some initial initial values to the object this is called parameterized constructor and what is the purpose give some initial values initial values initial values to variables so we will discuss all these things clearly clearly we will discuss right how to how to work with the default constructor and how to work with the parameterized constructor in the next two videos. So you will get much clarity. So when we go with the default constructor, when we go with the parameterized constructor. Okay. So this is how we are defining the constructor. Just defining a method with the same name of class. If you are writing that class is an account and constructor name should be account. This is. Right. If you are writing that class, so any other class, suppose class name is a customer and that constructor name should be customer. This is the way we are defining constructor in Java. Hope you understood. Please practice. Thank you.